been looking forward to literally all year. It was uh, I remember writing a piece coming into 2017 saying the fights I was looking forward to the most, and this one was was right there at the top of it. So uh, I don't want to I don't want to look past the fight whatsoever, but I do have to bring up because it's something that you yourself have talked about. And Justin Buckles was on the podcast a couple weeks ago. He said it as well that hey, I mean, you go and defend that title against TJ in November, you're still thinking about moving dropping down to 125 pounds. And knocking off T, uh, Demetrius Johnson, who we got to see in Las Vegas last week. So I just wanted to get your thoughts on his performance. I mean, obviously it was a terrific finish. It was a, an amazing arm bar. He broke uh, Anderson Silva's record. Just what you thought of his performance, and is that still the plan? I mean, are you confident that you can get down to 125 and you see things that you can beat in Demetrius Johnson? Uh, it's definitely. You know, I first and foremost, I think Mighty Mouse is a great champion, great fighter. Great human, great father, great husband. Um, he does everything right. I mean, he's the perfect model of role model. If you could have that, someone in the sport to look up after, to look up to uh, for younger fighters, you know, um, an all around lifestyle, career, and you know, obviously title defense. He's 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 a pound for pound right now. But I do have a win over the guy that beat him. You know what I mean? A dominant win over the guy that beat him, and I can make twenty five. I'm young. You know, I think that was the fight to make after, you know, I demolished TJ is go down 125 pounds and, you know, become a two-time, two-weight world champion. Um, and that would be strictly just business. You know, that would just be for me to go down there and do that. Uh, no ill will towards Dom or, like I said, to Demetrius. I, I, I like him and his wife, and that just would be solely business and, and for my career and my legacy. And for him, too, like, he needs a big fight. He needs, you know, someone that, you know, he's destroying all these 125-pounders. Um, and that's his weight class. That's what he should be doing. That's what he's, he has been doing. And hats off to him. But uh, I feel like I can easily make 125 pounds and I walk around, you know, too heavy. I think that would be a great fight, you know, stylistically. I, I, I'm just too much for the guy, um, you know. But that, that, that fight will come down the road if it does, you know, formulate. But like I said, my focus is on TJ and, and going out there and 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 cutting his head off and 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 then going on, you know, vacation and and letting the body heal up and then we'll go back with and see what Dana and Sean and and Nick want to do. But I think that's a fight that everyone would be interested in for sure. Um, you know, you know Dominic Cruz, he can fight him and TJ can fight for interim title. Uh, and when I go down to 25, and then I can beat up the winner of that. So uh, that that's how I see it playing out. I like to always kind of just like have some goals and, you know, aspirations for the future. But uh, right now, TJ and Demetrius, if that is what is to come. Um, but, yeah. That's it, man. You got it all planned out. Cut TJ's head off, and uh, those, those two can fight for an interim title, and then you'll unify it after you beat uh, a guy who many people consider the greatest fighter of all time in Demetrius Johnson. Well, since you're a guy who, who has a plan and who sets goals, I, I have to ask, and I hate this question because everybody's getting it. Literally every person in, in the in the entire sport is, is forced to talk about Conor McGregor, and I wouldn't bring him up except... It, you guys are two of the biggest stars in the sport. You've had a run in on the reality, uh, on the reality, on the set of the reality show. It, as, as a guy with a plan, you ever see yourself running into Conor McGregor? I mean, is that just a, a matchup that would inevitable? It almost seems inevitable just because of the paths that you guys are on right now. Yeah, boxing definitely. I mean, yeah, that's what he wants to gravitate towards is boxing. I think that you know, going in a boxing ring with Conor would be great. You know, or, or MMA. But, uh, you know, he's going to need some stars or star power, or big money fights for him as he, you know, continues his career and and me as well, you know. Um, I'm working towards that level. He's at the bar high, and, you know, that's, that's good. I'm, I'm I'm happy that he's going out there and, and doing big things and, and getting things done. You know, it's, it's only to, to raise the bar higher and for myself. So I just got to go out there and, and focus on what I do is fight and win and, you know, and then, then go on from there, you know. But, yeah, definitely. I mean, we have running. Uh, nothing to worry to the guy, but I actually believe I'm a better boxer. I feel like I'm one of the best boxers in the UFC. Uh, and I'm glad that he went out there and didn't get totally embarrassed. He went out there and put on a good fight with Mayweather. And, you know, so, it, you know, us MMA fighters, we can go in and box some of the, you know, top boxers. I think that would be great for both sports to be able to cross remote. You know, I feel like I can go in there and, you know, box some of the, you know, 135 all the way up to 147 pound, you know, 
best guys in the world in boxing. And that's something that I, I dreamed to do, you know, and that was do for boxing. So we'll see. We'll see on that aspect, too, or if we, if we can get in there and, and, you know, get in that four squares. Yeah, Robert, if you're still if you're still on the line, I'm sorry that uh, we've been we've been going long with uh, with Cody here. But do you do you have do you have any any thoughts about him getting in a boxing ring again, or are you just along for the ride, whatever he wants, or would it be sort of special for you to to get back in the boxing ring with Cody? Well, boxing is my sport, and then uh, see what people don't realize, Cody's uh, when he's young and stuff. He, I mean, he sparred with the Sean Porters, the champions of the world, and held his own. And then uh, the Paul Spadafore is, is sparred with him, who gave um, Mayweather trouble when they sparred, and he's very confident and really uh, shined on that on them sparring sessions between the world champion and three-time world champion. So, um, I mean, for him to be in the boxing world, no, it, it won't bother me um, because he grew up he grew up with that background you this because you got tape on on mcgregor now because he was he spent 10 rounds in a boxing ring with floyd uh if 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 connor and cody shared the ring what is the result of that fight um the result of the fight is um we would have to prepare cody to fight a softball uh to um getting prepared for a softball is a little bit different of placing your feet and, and directional of a, um, a um, standard boxer. Here's what Bob's being saying. He's just being and giving his humble opinion. I'll go in there and I'll kind of <laughs> out in a boxing ring, just to be honest. It does no difference. Southwell Orthodox, that guy can come out and fight on his hands for all I give a I would knock him out. That's it. And so I have the best boxing in the game, UFC. I'm ready to showcase it on a level. I just got to go out there and I got TJ ahead of me. He's a great adversary, you know, great opponent to to level up to go to that next level with a great master class performance. Uh, again, you know, going riding off of this um, victory with Cruz. I've only leveled up. Yeah, I've been injured, but I've uh, I honestly feel the strongest, the healthiest, mentally and physically, going into a battle that I can possibly, you know have armored myself up, you know, mentally and physically going in, that I'm excited to go in there and take take TJ and then whoever else has come out, Mighty Mouse, Con or whoever, some you can give me some top boxers, you know, Antonio or uh, um Adrian Brown or all those guys, Mikey Garcia, all those guys I mean, I love to love to get in the ring with them. So like I said, hundred and thirty pounds up to hundred and forty seven pounds, I'll step in the ring with any of them. Well, I love it. Well, Robert was definitely giving us the politically correct answer, but not so from Cody. He steps <laughs> in and, uh, and and gives the answer that I think most of us would expect out of Cody. Man, I really appreciate both of your guys' time, especially while you're in the middle of camp. I know fight week's coming up quick, so thanks again for the time. Uh, congratulations on uh, the baby announcement, Cody, and we will see both of you guys in New York. Really looking forward to UFC 217, your first title defense. Thanks, guys. Yes. Thank yes, you thank so much, you. Brad. We had fun. Nice. Okay. Okay. 